In this video, I will be showing you how to build a church website with Wix. Once on Wix.com, you can create an account for completely free using your email address. Once you have created the account, I want you to tap on Create New Site. And from here, you are going to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After you have done that, all you will need to do now, I recommend that you tap on Set Up without AI, as this will give you the opportunity to customize your website to your liking. On the search bar, you are going to type in church, and then from there, you can see different options. So for example, if you are creating a website for a Pentecostal church, you can select that, whether it is a United Methodist, whether it is a Reformed church, or you're just creating a church blog. You can see that there are numerous options that you can select from. So we are just going to tap on General Church, then tap on Continue. After you have done that, you can see Wix is preparing our dashboard in the background, as you can see here. Once your dashboard has been prepared, you are going to tap right where you see Enter your site name, and you could type in your church name right there. Then you will tap on Continue. After tapping on continue, you can choose your site goal. So whether it is sell products, offer services, collect leads, or you want to share knowledge or build a community, you can select any one of these options as you can see right here. So there are numerous options that you can choose from. We're going to select build a community and we're also going to tap on share knowledge. Then you're going to tap on continue. After tapping on continue, if it is a case that you would like to allow persons to book or, or book a consultation better yet online, you could select booking. If you would like to also share videos and stream, you could tap on video right there. If you would like to create an active community, for example, site members or a group, you can do that. And more than likely, you are going to also want to add a blog on which you'll be able to write some information and share with your website visitors. If you'd like to share an Instagram feed, you can also tap on Instagram feed. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from there, you can tap right where you see start with a template. After you have tapped on start with a template, from here you can see numerous themes that you can choose from. So you can scroll down and you can select whichever one of these themes are to your liking. So for example, let's say the theme that I would like to use is this one. All I'll need to do is tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while Wix composes your website in the background. Once it is finished and we're on the editor page, I'll be showing you what to do next. So at the moment, this is our editor page right here. And there are a few things that I want you to pay attention to once they are finished adding our Wix booking. For example, I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu options. So you can see right here, add elements, add sections and pages and menu. Add, sec add elements better yet would allow you to add anything that you want to the website. So for example, if we were to tap on add elements, if it is a case that you want to add text, an image, anything at all, you'll be able to find it in this section. Whether it is a video, contact forms, or you like to embed a code, add your social media, or so on, all you'll need to do is simply tap on it and drag it on the spot that you would like it to be displayed on your website. It is quite easy to use the Wix editor. For example, if you wanted to customize the header section, all you have to do is simply hover over it with your mouse cursor and tap on quick edit. Then from there, you can make the changes that you want. So you can do that. You can do that with any section. If we'd like to customize this section, you can tap right there. You can change the section background. You can change the text and so on. And talking about changing background. If it is the case that you would like to change the background for the header section, you can simply select the header section, then tap on quick edit. Then after doing that, all you need to do now, you can see settings right here. 
we could tap on settings after you have done that you can see different options so you can change the card icon and so on as you can see right there now to add other stuff just like what i was showing you earlier you would tap on elements in the top left hand corner and to view all the pages that are currently on your website you will tap right where you see home in the top left hand corner and these are all of the pages that are currently on our website so if we were to tap on blog we would be redirected to the blog page and you can see some sample blog pages that were added now to manage these all you'll need to do is simply tap on the blog section then tap on manage posts after you have done that you'll be redirected to this page on this page you can create your first post so you could go over to the top right hand corner and tap on create new post then from there you could type out your first post right here then tap on publish if we were to go back you could tap on post from the left hand menu option after you have done that you're going to see the sample posts that were added to your website if you don't see any that's good but if you saw some you could simply tap on select all and then you'll be able to delete them another thing that i also want you to do by going over to the left hand menu option you could tap on booking calendar and from here you'll be able to view your calendar so you can see when someone were, would select consultation or so on so you can see your calendar and you can see when you have consultation that you are offering and talking about offering for example if you would like to collect money or so on you can over over sales and from there you can select how you'd like to get paid or you can select getting paid right here you could create payment links you can also connect your paypal and stripe account so every other thing that you would like to customize you'll find it in this section for example if we were to tap on groups right here from here you can see a test group that was created or you can tap on create group and for example you can create different groups so you could tap on events and meetups after you have done that you could add a group name you can change the cover image and you can you will be able to share this so if it is a case that you would like to share it public you could tap on public if you would like it to be private you could tap on private and then you will be able to share the url so persons can sign up if you would like it to be an only pain group you could tap on only pain and then from there you'll be able to share the link and persons would have to pay to join that link and that's it once you're finished with your customizing you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live keep in mind if it is a case that you want to accept payments on wix you will need to go onto one of their paid plans but once you don't want to accept any form of payments on your website you will get access to all of the features that i was just talking about and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching